Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, February 27th, 2022. Week 169. You got it. <laughs> Hope all is well. Um, sorry we missed you last week. We went off the grid and uh, just enjoyed vacation with my honey and Julia and did nothing. I did a lot of hiking. Oh, I wouldn't say we did nothing. We no, drove we all the way from Michigan down to uh, Colonial village area of Williamsburg and got mm -hmm. to see a lot of the old historic buildings and sites of uh, Colonial Williamsburg and mm -hmm. walked through their little town and it was really <laughs> it was really interesting it was fun it was a nice trip and uh, we did unplug and just kind of went down to um, relax yeah absolutely try um, and catch some time together and hang out and do a little bit of nothing. Yeah, we didn't run, 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 which no. was nice. And kind of winged it every day. Didn't really have set plans for every day, which, again, was nice. We went based on the weather. We had a lot of rain in the morning and then sunshiny afternoons. So Yeah, and um, I'm not up for physically being able to do these hikes, but Stacy went on, what, three or four hikes? Four hikes, the four shortest hikes. hike being just over a mile and a half. And the longest hike, almost five miles. And it was just super nice to be out in nature. I have beautiful, beautiful pictures. Um, I'm a picture taker, so I mm -hmm. really enjoyed it. I uh, got scared by some deer and a snake. <laughs> and something that you couldn't identify. <laughs> yes, yes. There was, I was by myself, and it was very dry when we first got there. So the first few hikes that I went on, the leaves were very crinkly and I was doing one of my updates and all of a sudden the look at my face was like, oh, <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Um, but it, uh, it was, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I wish Bill and Julia would have gone with me, but it was okay. If I could physically, I would yeah. have, but I've been having such a hard time even just getting up and moving lately with my hip and my, yeah, I'm beat up. Yeah. Hey, let's get into some weights because some people don't not have time perfect. to listen to us babble <laughs> oh well so um two weeks ago i was 338 and uh this morning when i jumped on i was 341 so i'm up three over the last two weeks yes so not good yep did not get as much movement as i wanted when we were on vacation i tried to use their pots and pans and stuff um mm -hmm. i bought a 18 pack of eggs and my normal routine is get up and make scrambled eggs in the morning. And every time I made them, it didn't matter what I did, how much butter I used, what temperature I used. I think I had the worst pan on the planet in the state of Virginia because <laughs> it just burned. It stuck no matter how much butter I used. I, I don't understand it. And I did the same thing. I was... Surprised when Bill said that. So Julia said she wanted some eggs. I said, oh, I'll make you eggs. But sure. Like, Be sure, careful. go ahead. Be careful. Knock yourself out. And I use probably a little bit more butter than Bill anyway because I like buttery eggs. And um, my good Lord, I, I couldn't get... The eggs were stuck. They weren't cooking. Wasn't that a temperature Burnt. was too hot. Um, I didn't even finish cooking the eggs. It was so frustrating because the whole bottom of the pan was stuck egg. Stuck egg. Yes. So no matter how much butter I used, I told Julie, I said, pick something else. I said, eggs clearly are not what we're making while we're here. All right, so. get into your weight. <laughs> so last week, I, uh, two weeks ago, I weighed in at 158. Um, this morning I weighed in at 160. Um, <clears throat> certainly I'm very swollen. It was very different being up in, in the elevations my body's still being strange, still not trying to figure out what it's doing. My um, ears are plugged. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear? Yeah. It was very, um, I'm, I'm very swollen. Um, Plus we came from 70 degree weather down to like the teens here. I think it was like so, 12 yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're having some weird body changes. I'm, I'm sore, kind of beat up. And yeah. Sitting in the car for 12 hour drives, you know, Stacy did what I didn't want her to do, which was just push through with five hour energies and driving through the night. We did a lot of night driving yes. through the major cities. and But, uh, you know, at least that way you get through with no traffic. Yeah, the route just, back was definitely nicer. I took a good nap. I actually took a probably about a three mile hike on Friday afternoon. Came back, showered, ate, 
took a couple hour nap, then we got in um, on the road. And for me, you know, yes, I did use the five hour energy, a couple of them, and uh, a great audiobook. Um, for me, I guess for those don't, that don't listen to audiobooks, Bill's not a fan of them. I clearly, I'm putting him to sleep. <laughs> but, you know, having a good audiobook kept my attention versus, I don't know, not just listening to music. Yeah, but we made just, it home yesterday. I was very happy to be home. I just wanted to be safe. I wanted to prolong the agony and stop somewhere and sleep for a couple hours. A Cracker Barrel, a rest stop, something like I normally do. Yeah. You know, and uh, Stacy just wanted to keep pushing forward and said, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I was. Okay. I couldn't even go to sleep when we got home. I thought, okay, great. I'll take a shower and snuggle in my own bed and go to sleep and... I couldn't. I couldn't fall asleep. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But when I came, I came out, watched some TV with Bill. I sure did fall asleep then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. So our bodies will get back adjusted, and um, you know, certainly for me, on my end, wasn't a lack of activity. I think just my body doesn't know what the heck it's doing still. Yeah, I drink like a whole case of water over a course of just a few days. I mean, just seemed like I was just super thirsty and just. Always, especially coming back, it was getting dry and cold yeah. and dry, and I just kept feeling like I needed a drink of water, and had had to stop every like hour and a half to two hours to go pee real quick, because you know we're drinking so much, and then I started adding it up. I'm like sixteen ounce, sixteen ounce, sixteen ounce bottle of waters. I'm like shoot, I gotta weigh in tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, who knows? It was what it was, and we had a good time, and. Kind of, like I said, went off the grid a little bit, which was nice. And <sighs> Well, we we also had really bad reception, too, because... Oh, um, it was horrible. You could barely even, like, check your mail and, like, jump in on Facebook, much less video and upload something to YouTube right. from, uh, from our service. Out there along that coastline out there, there's just... You had trouble even with your hikes because she has, like, yeah. a trail system thing on her phone. All trails. And, and it, she would sit there and wait for it to, up, to update to tell her the trail, and it was taking forever. <laughs> on one of the trails that I went on, um, it was actually the trail that I did Friday afternoon, there is a chunk that's missing, and clearly I walked it because <laughs> I made it back to the car, but there was a chunk that was missing that didn't calculate my walk. Um, but I was in the middle of the woods, and um, yeah, so it was... It was, it was interesting. I was able to stay on my trail for the most part. They are pretty well marked um, he, there in Virginia. That was nice. Some of the paths in Michigan are not super well marked, but in Michigan, uh, Virginia, they were pretty well marked, so I was pretty happy with that. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, we went to the grocery store. We bought our basic keto things. Mm -hmm. um, just tried to keep going with our basics and, and my biggest downfall was I'm used to waking up every day making eggs yes and I didn't have the ability to make eggs I almost made them in the microwave at one point and I'm not a huge fan of that but I was desperate because <laughs> nothing was working yeah I found if I use a porcelain bowl if I make eggs and I mix them up and do them in the microwave it sticks to the bowl really bad if I do it in plastic it doesn't stick to the bowl yeah, and there everything was glass. I about broke several of their glass Very bowls heavy. that were so heavy. Let alone you put any food in it, then it was even heavier. Yeah, well, something to be said about being home, because now we're home and I can make eggs this morning if I want. And I have my coffee, because they had their own coffee thing, and I didn't want to go to the store and buy all the stuff to make coffee there. So Stacy would run down to the clubhouse and <laughs> fill my little Contigo cup with their coffee, yep. which wasn't bad. <clears throat> I'll take it. It was equivalent to like Speedway or something. Yeah. It was nice. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Julia and I went up to the clubhouse and played bingo. We didn't win. There was an older lady that was there and she won the first three games. Oh. Totally random. It was a, uh, she was doing a bingo game on the iPad and then we had the cards and she's like, I, I hate to say it, but I have another bingo. Um, she won three out of six bingo games. Hmm. Lucky lady. Yep. That's okay. It was just nice to have Julia go out and do something with me because she really just wanted to hang out on her break and watch some some movies and chat with some friends and play some games. And She took two books, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Library books. 
that she was reading. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see her much. She stayed in her little room. She was not feeling well a couple of the days. Um, I just think the the food was a little bit different for her. She likes to eat the eggs as well. And um, I don't know. She just wasn't feeling... I think she had a little bit more to drink than she... Uh, I bought her some uh, zero Coke... Doc, zero Dr. sugar, Pepper. Dr. Pepper, and she doesn't normally have that, and I think that... Um, Maybe upset her stomach with yeah. the carbonation and stuff. And then she had goldfish, because she, she likes goldfish. to nibble on goldfish. She so to goldfish and pop made her sick. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> so, but it was it was nice. I think it was just nice for all of us to be somewhere else. However, it's so nice to be home and be back on our own couch and in our own bed own be that, take your own bed. shower just everything little and I make actually, your own eggs yeah i did like their shower but their bed my hip was killing me um last night i actually slept really really well good i'm really glad to hear that yeah i'm off to work today but i still feel like i need another night's sleep to catch up <sighs> the car was rough on my hips, my back, and my leg, back of my legs. Kept trying to get out of the car and move and walk and stretch yeah. a little. And yeah, it was just a little bit old for my old body was <laughs> feeling it. There was really no comfortable place to stop and sleep for two hours. You recline the seat, but you still can't get a comfortable way to lay. Yeah. So, and we have that camper van. You know, we have the platforms and the bed stuff, but. Honestly, with these girls and all the crap that they take, they filled the entire van full. Of, I mean, I must have made 10 trips carrying all your crap so you could decompress and not have anything on a vacation. Yeah, that didn't work. My stuff fit in a duffel bag. Well, I don't know where those other 10 bags came from then. Well, we there was were. a lot of bags. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff. Anyway, uh -huh. but it was fun. We had so a good filled time. filled the van full of bags. Now, th that was a trip we took because um, when my mom had passed, she had left us some timeshare weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's use it or lose it. So you have to go on their system, punch it in, and anywhere in the U.S. Well, actually, you go outside the U.S. too. Yeah. But anywhere you, anywhere you want to go, you can choose. And then you take the weeks that she had deposited and banked. Mm -hmm. There's a thing called RCI. And uh, you can move it to a different location. So yep. you don't have to go to one timeshare over and over and over you can go to any of them in the u.s so we chose williamsburg because it was a drive that we could make and you have cousins down there so we went down and met with them and enjoyed visiting and yeah it was it was a nice little drivable trip and uh next month we are going to do the same thing and we're going to hit tennessee and uh that's to visit some friends and mm -hmm. also see the area i'd like stacy to move south and get away from the cold michigan winters Yep. So there is a motive. <laughs> I want to I want to see if we can get her interested in going south. But, you know, we'll go down there. We'll still have fun either way. Yeah. There's a little timeshare that we'll be at for a while. And uh, we'll spend some time in that little general area. And mm -hmm. a couple of the days we'll shoot off and head over by Nashville area. And yeah. check out the Costco's in Tennessee. There's three of them right there. Yeah. Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. Yeah. Murfreesboro. And there's one in um, like Southern Nashville, and then there's also another one in um, Brentwood. Brentwood. Brentwood, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, we're gonna go check those places out, visit with some of your friends. We actually have a friend up here that transplanted down to Nashville, mm -hmm. Costco. So. We were band moms together, and uh, <laughs> then we worked at Costco together, and uh, and she's loving it down there. Yeah, so. Christy moved down to Nashville, and she's been down there a couple years now, and uh, she absolutely loves it. So we're gonna head on see? and see her see? Um, and hang out her, with her for the day, spend the night. And then the next day, head back to the resort. So Yeah, we'll just uh, go and visit some of those areas. I mean, even on this trip to Williamsburg, we didn't really, quote unquote, do a lot. We went to see the Colonial Village and yeah. we walked around. Um, there were more things you could pay for and do, like art museums and going into some of the buildings for historical talks and things. And we didn't, we didn't do that. We did the free stuff we just walked around and yeah. <laughs> went through the shops and that, and that was enough and it was enough for, for for us you got the feeling of everything and yeah we you know even stood there and talked to the guys that run the horse carriages mm -hmm. and got a little bit better feel and you know even in the gift shops they were 
some of the kids were asking questions and the guys were answering questions. It was cute. So yeah. it was kind of fun to just hear some of that historical stuff. And uh, I don't know. There was a billion things to do there as a tourist. But all of them were like touristy traps, in my opinion, like Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yeah. And, you know, things that cost a lot of money. And we were just more about hanging out and doing nothing. Yeah. Kind of. I guess we're boring, but it's, it's kind of what we wanted, which is just get away and not really have to be on a schedule for anything. <laughs> yeah. And I super was looking forward to the hikes. Yeah. She um, likes her hikes. Yeah. And those are free, too. Unless you got to pay to park. <clears throat> Sometimes you got to pay Yeah, and actually I went into the one and I said, hey, I couldn't get the ticket to print so I could pay the park entrance fee. They're like, oh, you don't have to pay today. I said, oh, it was only two bucks. But I was like, oh, okay. So. Locked out. Yeah. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. I really, truly enjoyed the time. The weather was beautiful. Um, she carries her phone too. So um, yeah. she did a little like intro video and uh, like pan and scan and some pictures, of course, because she loves her pictures. So um, once we get all that organized off her phone into the computer, I'll throw up a video or two on our Stacy Bill Adventures channel and yeah. uh, some of her hikes of what she saw. Yeah. There, there weren't big mountains or anything out there, but a lot of water and <clears throat> yeah. nature. Yeah, a lot of nature. The one park I was really disappointed on Friday, uh, it was very, it was a paved path, which was nice because it had rained a couple of days. And so the paved path was really nice. They said there was a lot of eagles. I didn't get to see any eagles, um, but it was a little you weird. You gotta call them. You gotta stand there in the middle of the field and just caca. <laughs> I don't know what is an eagle. I What's an no eagle idea. say? <laughs> ah! Ah! Um, but it was a little weird. It's the first path that I've been on. That um, there were a lot of bikes on this particular one because it was a beautifully paved path. And had I had my bike, I would have gone. I would have done the five mile. But there were vehicles on there. And when you're walking and you're used to hearing crackling, and all of a sudden you hear a vehicle, it's kind of off-putting so you're moving over to the side and it's not very wide path and there was one part where there was a bridge um that you go over and you're literally standing like so where are you supposed to go when a car comes and you're on the bridge you stand and you're like okay hopefully don't hit me exactly it was a very odd feeling um where, where were these cars going i mean are these people so it that was work called there? island drive no it was tourist people or people that were just in the park so you could dr apparently drive the whole thing um never heard of that I, it was it was weird yeah I, that was one thing i did not like about that path well you'll have to go into your all trails is it all trails yeah and leave a review for that particular park letting yeah. people know like hey one of the things is this is kind yeah. of weird because you're going to experience vehicles on this path. Yeah. On the regular path, it didn't necessarily bother me as much because you could I could off. step off to the side of, you know, onto, Somewhere to go. The, onto <laughs> the grassy area. But when you were on that bridge and like four vehicles passed me on that bridge, to be fair, I spent a little bit more time there because it was a little bit more of a boring path, if you will. Um, until I got there, it was midway point. I was going to do the five mile hike and I decided to do the three mile because it was kind of boring. So that would have been a good one for us to go with the bikes. Oh my gosh. I would go back with a bike in an instant. Yeah. Um, and I would nice do the five paved, mile. No yeah. dirt path, paved path. Yep. So it was a very nice surprise. So I did spend more time than not. I actually FaceTimed Bill when I was on that bridge. It was so pretty. Yeah. That was a really pretty yeah. shot where you were at. Yeah. So... so I don't yeah. know. Enough babbling. I enjoy well, my hikes. Yeah, now we're back home and we're going to get back into our routine. We have nothing in the fridge because we kind of purposefully ate down what we had before we left for the trip. And then we got home mm -hmm. yesterday, but we're so tired and still have to <laughs> unpack at this point still. Um, so we are out of everything. So we're going to have to make a grocery list and get some basics. And I'll head, up, head to the store after work. Yeah, maybe throw some things on a list real quick. Well, Oh, we even started a new TV series while we were there. Okay. Um, we started to watch HBO's uh, Deadwood. Mm -hmm. Stace keeps calling it Dogwood. So I had to stop myself for a second. Um, I like the show. It's kind of neat. We're still in the first season of it. Um, but the oh, it's just there's a lot of vulgarity in it. I mean, yes. I mean a whole lot of bad words. So a lot. It's kind of like you're getting tired of hearing one word over and over. Yeah, 
was kind of yeah. funny at first. It was like, oh. Yeah, a little, you know, put you off. Like, why yeah. did you use that phrase? And then it, we're finding that over that's and over. over and over. So that's a little weird. So I wonder if it was really that bad back in those times, that the use of those types of words. Or, yeah. I don't know. I'm not I'm not a saint. I say bad words all the time, but not not like that. It's it's but it's an interesting show. I I like the people in it and stuff. Calamity so. Jane is in it and Yeah, Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill Hickok, and, yeah. So that's been kinda interesting. All these a lot of these characters are I don't know if the show's based on what true happened, but right. a lot of the people in it, the characters portrayed are part of history. So it's yeah. interesting to see because... Like with Calamity Jane, Stacy looking at me like, "What are you talking about?" I said, "That's Calamity Jane." <laughs> I don't know, but anyway. So I guess we're gonna see how far that takes us. I think there's only three seasons of it anyway, so we'll burn through it quickly. The way Stacy likes to watch programs, she likes to watch one after another. One more, one more, one more. That's Stacy's famous word. One more. So we're gonna watch. <laughs> we're gonna watch Deadwood and see what it's all about. <clears throat> and we started Ray Donovan. Which is yeah. another older series. We're just so behind on TV and catching up on things. So we started to watch Ray Donovan. We're, yeah. I don't know, three, four episodes into that. It's been interesting too. So we're just, we're still just waiting for that second part of Ozark to come out on Netflix. April 29th, not, I think. I'm not liking Netflix's new decision. They want to release things slowly instead of like a whole season of something. They want to purposefully pace them out like a once a week TV kind of thing. That doesn't work well for I'm me. I'm sorry. If I'm paying you Netflix, release it like you're used to releasing it. <laughs> Put it all out so we can watch it all. Binge so night. Binge watch. Binge watch, yeah. All right. Well, all right, guys. We're <laughs> going to head out of here and we will, like I guess I said earlier, 10 minutes ago, uh, we will see you next week. And if you're still hanging around, um, God Thanks. bless you. <laughs> for putting up with us. Have a good one, and uh, everybody have a great week. We'll see you. Bye. Bye.